paying attention to the trolls, especially the ones that even name their channels troll. You know, that's brilliant. Uh, frauditor troll. He made these shirts with me. So we got the 222, 333, and the 444. Guacamole. Heather Ray TV. Oh, yeah. Guacamole. Reasonable. Articulo. His name was Chad. Chad. I live here. Welcome back, everybody. And today is a fantastic day because Craig and Ty got arrested. And now they're complaining that they got arrested and they got their phone seized. Well, guess what? When you commit crimes, sooner or later, you're going to get arrested. Now, enjoy the video. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. We got arrested this morning. Yeah, we did. We got arrested. We got arrested. Somebody to get some KFC. That's the, uh, it's the Jack Harlow meal uh, drink right there. But yeah, so we just got arrested. Uh... What's with these frauditors and live streaming on the highway? This is a clear case of distracted driving. You just got arrested and you're trying to get more charges filed on you. I don't understand what's wrong with them. There's him, audit them, delete laws are always live streaming when driving and they're not paying attention to the road. They're looking at their phone the entire time trying to read messages. Like, dude, just wait till you get home. And our phones got stolen. Always film the police in Lake County, bro. I was thinking of any way to try to get a hold of you, but they stole my phone and they're not giving it back. Like they're saying it's evidence. So anyways, guys, basically we were in a parking lot, public parking lot of the sheriff's department. These armed thugs run up on us and they just threw us in cuffs. They insulted us. They laughed at us and took our phones and said, ha ha ha, we're taking this as evidence. And I'm not making it up. That's literally what they did. Well, damn, that sounds fantastic, Craig. Don't tease us with that. Where's the video? We want to see that. They were like children about it. They were calling me a punk ass bitch trying to get me to react to them. They charged me with a level, I think it's a level six intimidation. Uh, and they charged me also with trespass. And then they charged Ty with a trespass. And testify. I wasn't doing anything. I was in handcuffs the whole time. Ever since they approached, they put me in handcuffs. Ty wasn't in handcuffs the whole time. Yeah, but he got. Tell they went right up to him and just put him in handcuffs. Didn't waste any time at all. Like I said, that's fantastic. We need to see that footage. Every time Craig ends up in handcuffs, it's a wonderful day for me. And I know you guys want to see that too. So we'll keep you up to date with this story for sure. This is not the end of it. And they started like saying like, oh, well, uh, you know, there are signs and stuff. And I'm like, no, I didn't see no signs. And then, uh, you know, so anyways, they were like, they didn't give us a, they didn't tell us to leave. It wasn't like we refused to leave. Nothing like that. They just came up and, yeah, there's a video of it, but they have it in their in their uh, evidence room because yeah. they stole both of our phones. The only way we're allowed to live stream this is that after I bonded us out, by the way, it was $1,250. It was actually more than that because mine wasn't cash and it got 9%. It was like thirteen hundred and forty dollars, uh, and I, I had to spend that just to get us out. And then I had to buy another phone just so that we could get you on a live stream on the way home. Because oh, by I kind of smell something fishy in the air. It sounds like some e-bagging is about to happen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're gonna expect your subscribers to donate you all kinds of money to reimburse you for your fees. By the time we get home, guys, I'm going to be so tired. I stayed up all last night, and uh, and we did the auditing. But the first audit, we did. there was no no trespassing signage yeah. at all. I even drove by multiple times afterwards and saw there was no, tra no, no trespassing. Yes, we were arrested. Guys, Lake County was where we were uh, arrested at. These guys were uh, being super aggressive. They put me in the hole as soon as I went into jail. I wasn't being violent, wasn't being aggressive. Um, and they threw me in the hole 
like the hole of holes is like they they said does he go and said does he go in this one place they threw me in a cell that's like got basically like slits for windows in the hole section But, uh, anyways, yeah, guys, I just wanted to let y'all know, like, yeah, it was crazy. I, I'm, we had never even been to Lake County, no. but they were, like, <clears throat> they were telling us, like, get a real job, and they called me a f this and that. Oh, yeah. And they were trying to get me to react to them, but. Acting like children. How long? We were in there since, uh, around 6, 6.50, 7 a.m. this morning. Yeah. No court date yet, Ricardo. Uh. They said they're gonna give us a court date later. But guys, it's just absolutely insane. And they even said, they were like, oh, you guys think you're gonna go and make videos and all this, and well, this is what's happening now. Like they were they were seriously out of control. There was this one guy who was- Like I said, I absolutely cannot wait to see that video. It will be the best video on your channel, Craig. You should promote it to see you in handcuffs. People love it. It's gonna be fantastic like whispering in my ear yeah you're a little ass bitch you're a little punk ass bitch and they all didn't have any body cameras and as soon as they put us in cuffs or as soon as they put me in cuffs <clears throat> the guy took my camera and turned it off now ty stood with his camera but what do they do to make you turn it off Sorry. well the cop was trying to push the button to stop it until he was just trying to forcefully take it out of my hand and then he says if you don't turn it off this could get, get ugly is his exact words <laughs> so you and know, then it got off. ugly anyways we yeah. all went to jail nothing changed so uh and um you know i don't know guys i just know that this was like devastating to us ty was ty's phone is worth 800 dollars, and it's his only phone i mean yeah. my phone was is an iphone 11 but i just got a new one but we're basically out of money. Like we had to fucking, I got to pay for a lawyer for an upcoming court date already. And now we've got to pay for a, for a lawyer on these cases too. Cause they charged me with a felony in uh, intimidation. Oh, so what happened? So now you're doing frauding and you're completely out of money. Well, what happens to the hundreds you're getting from your merch and your subs and the thousands you're getting from ad revenue? It's not enough to pay those lawyer fees? Well, I guess frauding isn't a good business after all. Let this be a lesson to all idiot frauditors out there. Even though I was handcuffed from the get-go and they were the ones saying that I was a faggot and a punk-ass bitch and, and all this and that, I mean, you can't make this stuff up, guys. These people were... Uh, <laughs> Maniacs, I think. I mean, we'll that's definitely like, release like, the video if we can get a hold of the footage, though. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, we we we're gonna try to. Um, yeah, always telling the police. I was telling Ty we're gonna get a hold of Mark. So, uh, but my that number that you gave me was on the old phone, so I've lost it. So if you could resend it to me. Uh, God dang, we need to get a hold of each other somehow, brother. Will you email me your number so that we can get a hold of you, please? Uh, always telling the police. But um, yeah, dude, it was it was really sickening what happened. So there's no body cameras footage, yeah. and and always telling the police. I forgot to freaking uh, wear the body camera that you got me. Like I've got it in the car. Now, I think they probably would have just taken that too, seeing as they just took it all and called it evidence. So let me see, one of your benefactors got you a body cam, but yet you're not wearing it during your audits? Did you sell it? Because that makes more sense. He probably received it, put an ad on Craigslist, and made a bunch of money off it. But, um, you know... And guys, like, they told us our, their name and badge numbers because I made them, and it's all on camera, but I don't have, like, the memory to remember that, so we'll just have to go back and figure it out. But by the time I got Ty out of jail, I bonded out around three and spent fucking three hours running around town trying to get uh, money, like, to, to get him out, too. Yeah. By the time I got him out, it was uh, too late for any, you know, paperwork or anything like that. So we're gonna we're gonna do that though. Um, yeah, like always telling the police we need to call Mark. I want to call you after this live stream. 
but I just wanted to get the get the message out there, guys. I wanted to say that um, you know we are. It, it is a extremely costly doing what we do, and I never ever like to ask for any donations. Yep, here it goes. I saw it coming a mile away. All right, go ahead with the e-begging. Go ahead. But in this case, we need criminal defense lawyers because. In my case, they gave me an intimidation charge because they know that the trespass won't stick. They want me to plead to something and have a victory. I don't want that to happen, but I don't have the fund as of now to make that happen. So if anybody could donate to us, we'll chat in, uh, in the live chat. As a matter of fact, Ty, will you put that in the, can you put that in there? I don't know if, I can, if there's a way I could type or not. Guys, will some of the mods please put our cash app in the, in the chat? I did see Erica in here, so she knows it. Yeah, Erica, please put our, our cash app in the chat because, guys, we really need your help with this one. This is... Uh oh, you got arrested, and now you need our money. Well, let me just go get my wallet right here. I'll give you a fat donation. Yeah, okay, that's not going to happen. And I hope none of these dumb subscribers are stupid enough to give their hard-earned money to these idiots. Uh, it was grotesque. I mean, honestly, they didn't ask us to leave. In Indiana, you have to, you know, be, receive paperwork saying that you're trespassed before you get incarcerated for it. But they didn't do that. They, uh, they just took us through us and jail as soon as they could yeah and um you were right there they just walked us right in yeah and you guys saw how it went with direct d we aren't we aren't that naive we're not going to try to represent ourselves in a uh, in a case like this but we really want to get the best lawyer that's possible so if anybody could donate to us uh, we'd really appreciate it uh, yeah, Direct D is another idiot we covered on our channel. He actually got arrested for obstruction. He represented himself and he got convicted. A real clown. So we hope for the same outcome in this case. Um, and we'll, we'll just continue trucking, guys. I mean, we're going to go back to Lake County. We were going to go to Stark County today because of uh, what... I think it's Weary Willie posted uh, that happened in Stark County. He got arrested for free speech. Well, it turns out we got a, we got arrested for freedom of the press. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, I doubt that they'd run up on somebody that was just walking around anyways. They were like, well, you were, you were going through people's cars, like insinuating that I was getting inside of the cars. We all know what I do. And, and I didn't even go up to anybody's personal car. I went up to the cop cars only and the sheriff's department cars. And I looked in the windows using the plain view doctrine. So, uh, yeah, was... they, they're just, they're maniacs, guys. I don't know how else to say, but, you know, this is a, it's not so much a fight that, uh, like this fight, if we're victorious in this fight, it won't result in, in glory, really. It's not like we'd get paid from winning a criminal defense loss, you know, uh, criminal defense charges, but we would certainly, uh, have, it would set us up for a civil lawsuit and of course we do actually know a good civil attorney i actually have a theory here hear me out for a second what may have happened is that since none of this is recorded this could be just a ploy to collect donations and do some e-begging you pretend that you got arrested there's no paperwork there's no video and then your dumb fans are going to give you money it's possible it's not afraid to go after the cops in Lake County. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to be in contact with him. Ryan Youngblood, me and Ty were arrested today. Uh, Ty was arrested for trespass. I was arrested for trespass slash intimidation. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what they're alleging as far as the intimidation goes because the guy was whispering in my ear that I was a bitch and I was a pussy and, uh, you know, all this and that, calling me a f literally, like I'm not, not exaggerating. And uh, anyways, we got booked in. I was put in segregation, of course, as is usual. And then um, they basically took Ty to, to a quarantine cell and I had to bond us both out today because screw staying the night in jail especially i've got a court date on the first 
for a um, for the police radio violation or the alleged violation. Wow, this guy is actually swimming in court dates. It's almost like being a frauditor is not that great of an idea. So we're going to, you know, I had to get out for that anyways. So, but yeah, I mean, we're in a tough spot right now because we just really spent the last of our, of our uh, expendable funds. So really, I don't know the audits are, are going to be too plausible, uh, at least for the next couple of weeks, because it's just, and it's risky guys. I mean, I'm yeah. on, I'm on probation and every charge that I get like this, it's, uh, it's a violation waiting to happen. So hopefully they get me the hell off probation. But um Well, I'll tell you what, you're never gonna get off probation if you continue to commit crimes. That just doesn't work. Anyways, guys, we're gonna cut it here for today. They do a whole lot more e-begging. We might look into it as a part two of another video, but that's it for today. I'm glad they got arrested. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and we'll see you on the next video. Brothers,